AI, Andy, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. <laughs> okay, so the Asus ROG Xbox Ally X, wow. lots of words, lots. is the only handheld currently that is using the Z2e AI variant. It's and true. we need to know what it's for. Yes. And so far, it seems like absolutely nothing. <laughs> so far, well, at launch, absolutely nothing. Yeah. So it's got to be a compelling reason to choose. One of the compelling reasons to choose the Asus device is yes. because it's the only one with this variant of processor. Yeah. AMD themselves class it as the top of the tree of this generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's above the non-AI variant. But as of yet, we're unsure of what it is. And really, I kind of, I guess we should draw down a like, should that be a reason to buy it? Because yeah. it you know, it's one of the selling features. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So I guess we kind of talk about like what we do know, mm -hmm. what they're kind of promising and whether that's enough for you to make a choice on it, whether or not. Yeah, and we do way. have some information like moreover what we've seen in the past. So we have covered this when we got hands on in Germany. Yeah. Uh, but now some more sort of things may be coming to light that would just give even more yeah, questions. Yeah, AMD <laughs> seems, yeah, AMD seem to have put out some more information which we'll get to yes. which is kind of interesting indeed uh it's both a positive and a negative which is kind of yeah. wild so we've got a dedicated mpu in this chip yeah with 50 tops yes uh, trillion operations per second oh, there we go there Thanks. we go so it's got potential to actually offload stuff from the cpu and gpu yeah. to this npu to do the heavy lifting for something yes we were speculating before whether this will be an operating system thing. Yes. Whether it could lift off some of the operating system processes. Yeah. To give you kind of more performance back to gaming. Uh, there's no word on that yet. No, no. So far from Microsoft at the event in Cologne mm -hmm. and then the official releases afterwards, the mm -hmm. only official words they've talked about is Copilot. They yes. said Copilot about 5,000 times. They did, yeah. Which made me feel a bit sick in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically you hit a paperclip. Yes. I like that. That's good. <laughs> Who's there to give you some game assistance? Yeah, which yeah. you can use without the MPU. Yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, You'll be able to do highlight reels. Yeah. I, I mean, <sighs> talking of highlight reels, right? right? So loads of software does this already. Yes. I'm specifically thinking of the NVIDIA panel, right? 100%. And the bit and the same with consoles actually where it will record the last like you press 30 the screenshot seconds or, or minute yeah, yeah. it's button. constantly rolling a record and then you don't miss anything this takes that one step further and sort of seems to compile these things that it will determine are good so is that like achievements Ting. So, like or yeah. something i've tried out there's always these various different kind of like in inverted commas ai based bits yes. of software with different like videos that we've made yes and when i've done like streaming games i thought i wonder if there's a bit of software that will like auto compile yes and so i found this thing that did it and it worked exactly as you described it finds the achievements so it looks for the pop-ups on screen and then it just gives you clips of those achievements yeah. which is not as any gamer knows the highlights you of want. your game no you, you want to see the thing that happened to get that achievement yep. like was it a headshot from like a million miles away or, or the hilarious fail yes like the moment fails yeah so how well this will actually be implemented i don't know for me personally i'm sorry but i don't care i don't care i would turn it off i don't care about your gaming highlights <laughs> no. i've never interested no, in them i'm not yeah no. myself i don't care I'm not ca i don't care about my own gaming <laughs> yeah yeah exactly like, like funny stuff yeah that'd be funny to relive yes. but also i'll just play the game again yeah 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 As, so mm. yeah so that i couldn't care less for um and then of course we're talking about like the asr ass <laughs> as we like to call it As yeah, yeah. Uh, automatic super resolution that's the one yeah which is obviously based off the original Snapdragon ASR. Yeah, yeah. However, that's been implemented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interestingly, from all of the literature coming out, it's kind of been slightly removed. It's not been talked about at all. Yeah, they've not made. They they did bring it up though, didn't they? Yeah. Because that's how we found out about it. It was a it was a Microsoft press release yes. at Gamescom that that let this slide out, and then since then they've never mentioned it again, as far as I'm aware. And yes, you're right. So. Uh, ARS, ARS, for us, <laughs> uh, 
uh, is an operating system level upscaler. Yeah. So it does not require implementation from developers. Obviously, we were extremely hyped over the sound of this at the you know at well, game. It sounded Con. like the potential of like an alternate FSR. Yes, but where, hardware based uh, that does not need developer integration. Yeah. Because it does its system like operating system wide, so it, it can anything full screen. It can effectively yep. upscale. However, <laughs> the only thing we've got to go on is the Snapdragon documentation from a year ago, yep. and looking at that gives like a thirty three millisecond latency. So like two frames of lag. Too much. That's too much natively. And then we saw some creators talking about how this would only be available for external monitors yeah even though no one could confirm nor deny that to us if we probed about no. it no, so it does it does seem like in its original form it would only work on external displays and would introduce this huge amount of latency yes so there's speculation as to whether the ai tops in this processor could be responsible for this and make that better more efficient quicker and work internally yeah and i think perhaps that's why we're not hearing anything about mm -hmm. it now that they're kind of we'll wait until development of this is actually ready to yeah. roll out yeah so it seems like that's not gonna be available day one no they well they said that sometime next year and again the information we're going off is from the snapdragon yeah. data from a year ago so it may well be by the time this rolls out could actually be worthwhile they might fix stuff yeah. it might be internal or it might only be external like we, we just don't know yet but there's no date no word nothing <laughs> it being just like system-wide is exciting because it requires no implementation it also comes with huge kind of risks and, and like things that you we could be worried about because that's um like a blunt big tool like yes. blunt force upscaling yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than it's actually a model that's been trained on the game developers work. Yeah, on it. yeah, exactly. So if you think about how RSR works yeah. right now, which is AMD's driver level software uh, implementation of upscaling, it's kind of like that. Yeah. Where it just takes the image and then just upscales all of it. So just, text, everything, yeah. you get lots of artifacting yes. going on with that. But that's not hardware based. So that is just software just you know yeah. doing it this will actually take that stress off the cpu gpu and let the npu work on that but there's nothing to say that the quality will be any better no we or... don't know if it, if it trains itself if it's learning yes, like, yeah, exactly, it's obviously yeah. we're dealing with an npu now so there's potential for it to be training or, yes or sharing off a server and train yes. there's loads that it could do but with just huge question marks a lot of risk it's why i don't want to bang the drum about pick the aces version for this because we just don't until know. it's out we have no idea whether it's worthwhile or not the it was extremely exciting on the, the first news of it yeah but, you know letting the dust settle a little bit raises a lot of questions and there's a final curveball to all of this yes. which makes it even more like head scratching mm -hmm. is amd ha released some content about yep. the ai variant of this processor yep. and how it can be used on a game by game basis by the developer so amd they're they came out and said that what's exciting with the AI chip is that when a game developer has implemented AI into their game, mm -hmm. they can offload that process to the NPU here yes. to take care of those AI processes. Yes. So like translating that mm -hmm. is if a game developer is targeting some kind of AI process, read in upscaler probably, mm -hmm. then the NPU will take care of it. Yes. So that is actually the the best case scenario it's an it's a, a new fsr in that case exactly it's the equivalent of dlss or fsr4 yeah, yeah. because it's then using dlss an MP... is actually a better example yeah yeah, yeah it's the same kind of thing yeah because yeah, it's hardware upscaling but off from the cpu and gpu but the only negative here is if it's game by game basis you're now relying it's on a developer yeah. yeah to use an uh a more underutilized, you know, because it won't be FSR and it wouldn't be DLSS, no. surely. And it's only for one device. Yes. So whether or not they can change like FSR 4 to utilize this, Maybe. then then that becomes more exciting because FSR 4 is becoming more and more widely uh, used. Like AMD just rolled out the, yep. the driver level patches where it basically whitelists all FSR 3.2 games to then be able to use FSR 4. I've tested it. Works very well it in the games. Well. Yeah, yeah, that I've tried it the, with. There's, uh, we're speculating because I don't know how the actual 
the technicals work. Yeah, yeah there's potential no that it could be yeah. yes, translating FSR four. If it's not though, then <sighs> then it's a game by game basis. For a device that is probably going to sell in the hundreds of thousands, it's not worth the developer I focusing on. I was just on. about to say, it sounds like the developers are probably going to go, sounds like effort. Yeah, yeah. It, that's um, So more questions than answers. Yeah. Uh, going back to the point of like AI, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. At we, the time of launch, it will be absolutely nothing. Yeah. We're going to have to wait at least six months until we see something happening with it the potential is huge oh massive very exciting yeah. there's big promises from them in their press releases and the literature and stuff and as but as we've said ad nauseum don't make your purchase decision based on promises mm. if you're unsure and sat on the fence just wait and watch because some exciting stuff could happen yeah equally nothing might happen yes and if nothing happens it just puts it on the same footing as the msi and the lenovo legion go too yeah 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 it's the same processor. It's just not yeah. using the AI chip. Yes, and it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. I yeah. forget about that because yeah. the pricing's out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. If you guys know anything about it, mm. then let us know in the comments down below. Or if you'd like to speculate about what it could be used for, join in the conversation. And yes, indeed. Whilst you're down there, please do like the video. Subscribe for more yes. handheld gaming content. Yes, indeed. And what else? Now stick around because when we get more information about what this is actually utilised for and when it does come out, we'll be testing it. Yeah. So make sure you subscribe. And also you can become a member and you get to chat to us over on our private Discord. So until next time. Bye.